Okay. Uh, so after I made a um, video about Norwegians versus America, I got a lot of feedback on that video, and then I'm really glad for that. It's so fun when people are commenting in my videos and. There are like discussions in the commenting area and stuff like that, so that's fun. And I've got a lot of people telling me to make a similar video, and it's kind of hard. I'm I didn't really want to make another video like this because I I hadn't really any good ideas what to do. Um, then I found that I can make this video, and this is a video where I, where I kind of bust myths that I've heard about Norway. Because I've heard a lot of myths and some of them are true and some of them aren't. So I'm just going to tell you about the myths I've heard. And maybe you have heard some myths and then you can just ask me if this is true or it isn't. Okay, the first myth about Norway is that there are polar bears everywhere. Like polar bears walking in the streets. I've lived in Norway all my life and I've never seen a polar bear. Uh, they are not polar bears in the Norwegian mainland, there's an island outside Norway called Svalbard where there are polar bears, but there are not polar bears in the mainland. Number two is that all Norwegians are blonde and have blue eyes. This is of course not true. Uh, Norway and Scandinavia is the place on is a place on the planet where there are most blondes in the percent and probably most blue eyes, or at least Northern Europe is, uh, but in Norway the most common eye color is blue, uh, but there are also people with brown eyes, green eyes, you know, hazel eyes, everything, so that is not true. And also the thing with blonde hair color, that's not true either. Like, a lot of people have brown hair, uh, dark brown hair, red hair, like, a lot of different hair colors and also most at least girls do color their hair so some people who are naturally blonde color their hair brown and some girls that have blonde hair, brown hair color their or bleach their hair so it isn't true that people from Norway always have blonde hair and blue eyes I've used to color my hair really really dark uh, for many, many years, I don't color it that dark anymore. It does actually look darker on camera than what it actually is. Right now, in the top, it's a more of a golden blonde color actually, but it looks more of a ginger brown on the camera. That's weird. Um, so, and I've got a lot, of, a lot of comment. Even one person here actually asked me where I was from. Uh, he thought that I looked like I was from Russia. I don't know where I got that from. But uh, I'm not real like ashy blonde, so I of course color my hair because that is the color that a lot of people want to have. Uh, but of course, I wouldn't have been any less Norwegian if I had brown hair. There are also some people from my family who has almost black hair, so that's a myth busted. And another thing is that I've heard from one person, and that is that all Norwegians live on farms, like and have cows, and they wear knitted sweaters all the time. Uh, knitted sweaters are really popular. This is not really a typical Norwegian sweater. Actually, I'm going to get one. I don't know if I have one. I'm going to see. This is actually my dad's sweater, but like patterns like these are quite common, and like modest sweaters, which is something like this, but like red and blue and stuff like that so like knitted wool sweaters are really common we don't wear them like every day and we have a lot of other different clothes and most people don't live on farms that are there are a lot of farms in this country but most people don't live in farms most people live in, in cities yeah and the next thing uh, is from actually I think this is a myth amongst uh, Norwegian Americans who has like Americans who have uh, relatives from Norway uh, don't like shoot me or <laughs> don't shoot me if this is wrong but I've heard that they think that we uh, eat a lot of lefse. Lefse is kind of a what do you call it? It is a really flat uh, sort of pastry doughy thing which we have and we put butter and cinnamon and um, sugar in and we roll it and we eat it and from what I've heard it seems like they think we eat that all the time like 
uh, in every day and it isn't really that common to eat it at least not in my family we always almost never eat it like a couple times a year maybe so some people I guess eat it more but it isn't really it isn't a common thing to eat like to bring uh, your bring lefts everywhere that's not common um, and the next thing is that we eat a lot of brown cheese uh, in Norway we have a brown cheese it's basically called brown cheese and it is true that people here eat that a lot and they also have matpake which means a food package kind of everywhere they go and the most common thing is to have bread, a slice with bread uh, we eat more of, uh, we don't eat like fine bread we eat more of a um, grainy bread what's it called in English? Yeah, it isn't with white flour, it's made with whole flour whole flour, is that what it's called? yeah, and with cheese white cheese and brown cheese and ham and like open sandwiches it is much more common here to actually bring your own food to your workplace than to buy it there and uh, we don't have uh, we have to buy the food in the, in the school we don't get food at school we can get milk but we have to buy it in the school and also now they started giving away fruit in the school um, but we don't have like I've seen like videos from England and America <laughs> I've probably seen much from the more extreme cases but that they eat like hamburgers and chips and like totally really really unhealthy things in the schools and we don't have that here at all uh, from my perspective, I think I don't, I don't think it is healthy enough what they give to children, or the children are can buy to schools, but it isn't. <laughs> it isn't. It is far from pizzas and hamburgers and some places you probably can buy this once in a while, but not most of the times. Okay, I'm talking way too much. I kind of forgot what I was talking about. So the myths. Uh, and the next myth is that Norwegians are really, really tall. Um, we are taller than any other North and European country, really. Uh, like the Netherlands is the place where they have the tallest people. And the girls in the Netherlands are as high as the Norwegian girls, but the um, boys are a bit taller. Norwegians are as tall as other northern Europeans really. Uh, this v video wasn't really how I expected it to be. I don't really remember what I was going to say but a lot of people have just asked me to say more about Norway and in general so I hope you get a bit... I hope you get to hear a bit of what you wanted to hear even though it wasn't a lot of myths. Um, if there are a lot of people who want me to make more videos about this I will. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Uh, yeah, bye bye. So, Norwegians are as. Yeah? Yeah, look at that.